Welcome back. We have talked about our greenhouse inside, our chicken run, dealing with all of the snow. What I want to point out oh, is our greenhouse heater here. We are achieving some very hot temperatures. This is at about the 135 range, just under 140 there. So this is hot, hot compost. We took all these wood chips and amassed them on top of our old compost pile. You can see this layer of snow. It's all just melted off the top of this because this pile's so hot. It was up to the top of this board and it had sank down and cooked. And as it cooked, it started to compress and sink down and slowly break down. When this starts to cool off, if it does on us, we've been coming out here almost daily checking these temperatures and that's key. We do not want to start a fire or anything like that. So we've been checking the temps and as this starts to cool off, if it does, we'll spill it out into the center here and create a nice dish, fill it back up with more organic matter, straw, hay, or any wood chips. We've got a whole pile of wood chips at our three acre property here that are cooking currently also. So we have plenty of material, I'm not worried about it. This thing is absolutely massive here. It's a large compost pile. Just wanted to give a little perspective on that. So as this is cooking, it is releasing heat and gases, but we have it insulated and all of this snow in our hay bales are insulating all this, storing the heat right in the center here and keeping this alive and burning. I am very interested to see how long this cooks for us. It is nice and warm and it is large. This is exactly what we needed. So this pile has been hot for several weeks now around this range. So if we can just continue this growth and if it gets too hot, we'll stagnate it with water and just breaking it apart a little bit. But so far, we've created the perfect compost pile to create long-term burn in order to achieve very good heat transfer into our greenhouse here. This whole thing is covered in snow. We've got feet of snow on the side where it blew in here. I just wanna take a look. All of these wood chips here, this is all fresh cut up stuff. It's still green. This is all perfect stuff. We really didn't have to add a whole lot of nitrogen. We put all of our wood chips on here, kind of doused it with urine and watered it in. And this is what we've achieved on top of our already hot compost pile here. So these are free wood chips. Our local tree service had brought these to us. And these are fresh wood chips. They are brand new freshly chipped up and brought to us within a week. So they were already starting to decompose and starting to warm up in the guy's truck. So when they dump them, they're ready to use for what we're using them for. So it's a win-win for us. All of this free material in here, all types of different trees, free material anyway, and it helps us cook this compost very hot for a long duration because wood chips take a long time to break down. So we are achieving very good heat. Everything in our greenhouse is still alive into the new year here. We've achieved better results than we thought we were going to. I hope everybody enjoys these videos. This is just one more way that we are achieving self-sufficiency, running these free systems and harnessing free energy.